Hi everyone, um, so I'm here to flip through my second England scrapbook. Um, I've managed to fill another one and it's a little bit alarming because I can't have <laughs> too many because otherwise it's literally going to, you know, overload my whole bookshelves of scrapbooks. But this is the second one. Obviously this is because of Covid really, because we've not been able to go to many places. We've been in the UK a lot, so that's probably why. So it probably will calm down with the whole England bits and pieces. But yeah, so basically it's another 12 by 12. And I really love this um, piece of paper. It was from a paper pad that came from B&M and it had a load of like woodland themed paper. And this one I just thought was really cute for England. And then I just ripped out some, I think it's actually from this paper, uh, just a leftover page, just ripped that out so I could stamp England on there. So yeah, and I do actually get need to get some plastic back in to go across because it is, um, you know, not getting coming apart, but like the corners a little bit rolled, so. Yeah, so a few of these pages I did ages and ages and ages ago, but these are just some places that I've been in the UK that I've wanted to document that I wouldn't have put in my project life because there's a lot more photos maybe, but there just is some different sort of bits and pieces throughout the year. Um, there is some bits and pieces before I, I think this might go from 2021 as well. So um, yeah loads anyway so the first page was just of my hometown in battle this is where i'm actually from um this did have a b and an a but that's the disappeared so i do actually need to go back and find my alphas for these and put those in um but yeah this is just battle about my hometown i just thought because i've not actually got that many photos of battle i just thought when i went down with my see my family i would get some photos um so yeah so it's just some nice cute pictures of the town and the battle abbey um really cute like Tudor-esque sort of style um, pubs and obviously like the British sort of telephone boxes with Bat Labby in the background. But yeah, so I did a lot of like layering bits and pieces. I love these little crown wood veneers that came from Hobbycraft, I want to say. Um, but yeah, really cute papers as well on that one. Then this is when we went for a walk to Woodlesford, which is just outside of Leeds. Um, this was definitely in COVID times because we couldn't really go anywhere. This was the first time we were allowed to go anywhere um, outside of our local like village, basically. So we actually managed to get a train somewhere. So this sounds really weird, obviously, nowadays, because we can do what we want again. Um, but back in COVID times, we weren't allowed to go very far. So we went to Woodlesford. We did like the Trans Pennine Trail, which was nice. So um, I took some pictures of the signs and it has some cute like waterways and canals and stuff. And then when we got to Leeds, we walked from Woodlesford back, Woodlesford back to Leeds. Um, I really love this street. It's got like a really funky post box, post box, telephone box in like colourful shops and things. So, yeah, so I went very spring like because I think this was this was in spring. Um, so I just thought it, it was a nice walk for us. Uh, you know, we had a two hour walk, which was really cool. And I love these pictures of all like the blossom and stuff on the trees. So this is when we went to Liverpool. We went to Liverpool um, in September just for a night because we were actually supposed to go a couple of months back or maybe a year ago um, to go see a comedian, but that got cancelled. So, but we couldn't cancel our hotel. Um, it was non-refundable, so we had to just keep moving it. <laughs> um, so eventually we actually went and um, we stayed in a really nice, cute little hotel called the Tune Hotel. And it was very central. It was clean. But we did end up staying over like a Saturday night. Um, so it was really busy with like people partying, basically. That was the only downside of it. But we really enjoyed it. So I went like blue and red for this, this theme just because um, the hotel was red. And I just, I don't know why I went red and blue. <laughs> it was just a nice little change. Um, so yes, like the business card from our hotel. Um, these are from the Echo Park collection. I can't think what it's called. Um, but yeah, that was red and black, so that went really well. Um, I just stuck our like leaflet from the hotel. Um, and yeah, I love these cute little bows that I managed to get quite a few used up of. So then this is just us going out and about in Liverpool. This is the Royal Albert Dock, um, which is really nice. We had really nice weather as well. So. It's cute. We had two full days because we travelled by train. But yeah, it was my first time going to Liverpool. 
See if there's some nice photos of the liver buildings that obviously they have the liver birds on top. And I'll just put like a little geotag on the, the little birds at the top there. You can see them from all different angles of the city. It was just really cool. We got really distracted by a cruise ship that was in as well. So we spent some time just looking at a cruise ship. Um, but I loved using all these bits from that collection from Echo Park. Um, and yeah, it was really cool. I don't know why that's there. That, oh. No, I'm going to leave that there because that's going to move. I don't know why that gem's there. That shouldn't be there. That probably should be moved. But I'm not going to move it because uh, it's stuck to the alpha. So, yeah. And then obviously Liverpool is famous for the Beatles. So obviously we stopped to find the Beatles sign and the statues. It took us ages to find these because, maybe because we were distracted by the cruise ship, but we walked completely past them. And then we just, even on the map, I just could not find them anywhere. <laughs> but eventually we found them. They were like hiding in plain sight. But it was really cool to see them. We actually got some really good photos of them. Um, and because there was a cruise ship in, it was quite busy around the area. But we managed to get some good photos. Uh, but yeah, the Beatles were really cool. And then also because of the Beatles, they've got, um, there's loads of stuff all around the city to do with them. And then we went down um, the street that's got all the famous sort of bars and things that they've played in um so like this has got like the rock and rolls and baker house that's what it's called the beatles museum here i picked up some postcards and i love this with all like the bobbleheads of each member this is like a little pin that i just glued down and it's the St. Uh, sergeant pepper's lonely hearts club band and then down the street again with all the places that they used to play there was the cavern club which is the most famous one there's really cool sort of like um artwork across the buildings this is cool that it just says four lads who shook the world and like the the statue there they had also like names of bands and stuff all along the, in the brick walls which is cool and i like this because it said liverpool is the pool of life <laughs> so yeah so that's cool that's another little pin that i stuck in that then we went for a nice drink um, at this really cool pub. So Liverpool has really known for its like really old, but really, really, really fancy pubs. They're not expensive. They just look really fancy. And we went to we went to one called the Philharmonic Dining Rooms, and it was just really fancy. Like Joe sat in this lovely like armchair, and we just had a drink and sat down and chilled, which was nice. And then we went for food. So we went to this really nice Greek restaurant called the Greek Taverna on Bold Street. So that's their business card. Um, and that's just a picture of me and Joe when we were getting ready. And then our food, which again was so nice. We love Greek food and it was a, it was really good. We really enjoyed it. And then the next day we had really nice breakfast. We went to this the Moose Cafe, which we love because obviously our cat's called Moose. Um, but it was like in a Canadian restaurant basically we had to queue it was so busy um but we had our pancakes joe had eggs benedict um i think new hampshire whatever that is um but yeah it was like canadian it was really cool um and then had like this street with all these umbrellas down there which was really fun so yeah that was fun and then we went up to st john's beacon which is this big radio tower um that you can see from pretty much any part of the city um and it was really cool it was like seven pound each to go up and it was really quiet um i think there was only a couple of other people there so that was good and we've got some really good views of liverpool so that was fine so yeah and then after that we literally went home um we picked up a train service that was really busy because all the other trains were cancelled um but yeah we had a really good time in liverpool really enjoyed it um we saw loads of stuff and we did loads of touristy things which was cool so the next section is about when we went to Sands End. Um, Joe's mum and her aunt and Joe's aunties and grandma go to Sands End every year um, in the summer for a week, and they invited us to go just for a night, just to just spend time with them, which was nice. Um, so we went and stayed with them for um, a night, and it took about it takes about two hours to drive to Sands End. Um, and this was just some pictures of their apartment building that they rent out, which was really cool. It's like a villa, but obviously not because it's not spanish or anything <laughs> it's just really nice um it's like a house almost um but this like stairs goes down to the the road the main road down to the beach and stuff which is cool and then this is the actual building here and then this is the view with some the roses and stuff so it's really cool and i love all the decorations that i use these are all from the deco time um pad 
And then these are just some photos of Sands End. We didn't have the greatest of weather, but we made the most of it because it was the back end of September. Um, but the houses were so cute. They were really country like fied, like typical British countryside houses. It was really nice. And then this is the beach. Obviously, the tide was out, so you could walk along it. And then we had some lunch looking out over the sea, which was nice. We went for a walk along the beach at uh, around sort of tea time-ish. Um, so we just got some more pictures of the, the sea. And I love this picture of like my, my shoes. Um, and a picture of me and Joe just on the beach as well, which was fun. And then just some last sort of pictures. I love this picture of Joe's grandma. She's just sat watching the ocean. I just thought that was really cute because it's one of her favourite places. She goes there every year. She's 95 and she just absolutely loves it. And she just look, loves looking out the the sea this is where joe used to go when he was a kid like at summers and stuff so brings back a lot of memories for their family um but we just it was lovely views sat you know looking out at the sea from the the living room window um and then this is like the sea at the beach at sunset which is nice And then the week after that, um, my family came up to see me and they wanted to go to Whitby, which is literally just next door to Sands End. Um, and we did actually end up going to Sands End. But it was cool because, um, yeah, it was nice to show my family around after having already sort of been. Um, so this is just a place we stopped by on the way to Whitby. It was called... God, I can't think what it's called. It's like the, the hole, <laughs> the northern hole or something like this. And it's like a big dip. And we just stopped there just to have a break in the journey, basically. And then we got to Whitby. Um, and then we had a wander around. The weather was really nice. It's really cute in Whitby, like, you know, typical sort of British seaside sort of town, cobbled streets and cool little bars and restaurants and shops and stuff. It's obviously got into the canal that goes into the, the ocean. Um, my mum, my dad bought my mum a really nice necklace of Whitby Jet, which is like a famous type of rock or gem that you can find on Whitby Beach but my mum my dad just bought my mum some so she can have it around her neck and then we went well me Jo and my mum hiked up the top to go to the arches the whalebone arch um, to get some pictures you can see like the Whitby Abbey in the middle so that was really cool um so we got some really nice pictures of the town there it was a bit of a steep climb my dad stayed at the bottom <laughs> And then we went to Sands End because that's apparently a much better place to try and find Whitby Jet. So we actually went to Sands End. So there's just some pictures. That's my mum and dad right in the background. My mum inside this big cave. Um, and then us on the beach, which was really cute. Joe took a picture of me, my mum and dad. Just they were looking for Whitby Jet on the on the beach, which was nice. They did actually find some as well, so that was fun. And then there's just some pictures of me and my family. So this is Joe. And my dad and mum looking for Whitby Jet on the beach, which was cool. And then a picture of us three as well, which I love. It's just memories like that. Like, you know, it was an odd photo. I didn't mean to take it. My dad was nice. Joe was just, you know, messing, messing, messing. I can't speak today. Joe was just messing around and it was just nice to get a picture. So, yeah, so that was that. And in October, we then went for a little two-night trip to this really cute little shepherd's hut up in Weardale in County Durham. Um, and it was amazing. Like, we absolutely loved it. It was so cute. Um, so on the way there, we stopped at this uh, pub called the George and the Dragon. And they served this most amazing pie. Like, I think about it every other week because it's just so amazing. Um so we stopped there to have some food before we... Because it was about a two-hour journey. Um, so we stopped to have some food. Then we got given this postcard of the farm that we stayed on. So basically we stayed on someone's farm in this little hut. And it was just so cool. Like I absolutely loved it. Um, it was tiny. It was called the Weardale Retreat. And I loved using all the autumn sort of vibes for this um, holiday as such. So here's just some pictures of our little hut. So it's a little shepherd's hut and it's just so cool. Like it was in the middle of these fields. We had sheep all around us. Had these cute little like wooden seats that you can sit down and just look out at the view. Um, we actually went in the middle of a storm. So the weather was crazy. Like this was probably the best day we had. Uh, the rest was like a, a full blown storm. Like I thought we were going to roll down the hill. Um, we didn't manage to use the fire pit. But this was our hot tub that was like you um, powered it by fire so it was like a natural hot tub which was cool 
um, and this is just some views of the fields. So this is inside of our little shepherd's hut, so like a bed area. Um, and then opposite the bed, you had the kitchen and the little wood log wood burner, which was really cool. And then through that door was the bathroom. Um, so like the kitchen all came apart. So like you could use it at the surface and you lift it up and there was a sink and there was a tiny little um, microwave on the top shelf. And there was loads of bits underneath it, toasters and stuff. And then this was like a, you could lift that up and put storage underneath. So it was really handy. Um, and then the bathroom was cool because it had, had, had her own shower and things, but the toilet had like a little sink in the top. <laughs> so it was really well done. I just thought it was really cute. So then because the weather was so bad at some points, um, we literally just stayed in and just chilled. Like we didn't really go to do much. We just wanted to, we were more interested in staying in the little accommodation more so than anything. So like this was our view from the little windows. You can see the clouds sort of getting a bit gray. We got given slippers and um, dressing gowns so we could literally sit with the fire. And then this was like, well, it was like at night, like it was just all dark and red because obviously we had the log burner stove on, which was cool. So yeah, so it was really cozy, really, really cozy. So then we used the hot tub, which was a bit of a mission, but I'm glad we did. Um, we, we persevered because it did take a while. It's supposed to take like three hours to heat up. And obviously you just have to keep it burning basically to pout, like heat the water. So it's like an economic way of heating water basically. Um, but it just takes a little bit longer to warm it up. So eventually we got in it Um, it was fun. And then this was us in the hot tub just a bit later on. So like, we just got some pictures of us, which was nice. Um, and then, yeah, of the sunset as well. It was just nice because it was so quiet. You can just hear like the uh, the animals making noises and you can see all the stars and stuff because we were just literally in the middle of a field. It was really, really quiet. So then this is just some pictures of the farm um, that we were on. So we had a little bit of a wander around. Like it was an actual working farm. So we had like sheep and there was horses and cows and all sorts going around. And I loved using these little sheep um, they called god i can't think what that what that material is anyway it was cute and i used this little fence wood veneer as well so this is some more pictures so again of the farm this was a cute little sheep dog um and then obviously some of the sheep as well so it was just so cool like the owners just left us to it they didn't bother us or anything they were really helpful if we needed anything um, but we just loved like looking around and going for a wander and looking at the animals like they had some hens and chickens and roosters and stuff so that was fun like i wanted to stay on a farm like that was what i actually googled basically i googled like farm stays and this came up and it just seemed so unique that i had to book it basically so we went for a little wander um when the rain started to ease a little bit and we ended up walking around this like abandoned sort of rail track i don't think it's used for anything um, but it was really fun just walking around the fields and then we went for a really lovely Italian meal afterwards, um, a place called Bon Appetito and yeah, it was just really nice. You know, that we had a really nice cosy day and then like a walk and then a really nice hot meal at the end of it. Then on our way home, um, we stopped at a place called the High Force Waterfalls and because of how much rain we had, um, it was so cool because it, made the water so powerful so the waterfalls were in like full force which was good um but this was like the roads that we were driving along which was just like typical countryside and then uh, we went for a little walk through the woods once we parked up that was our little parking ticket to get in and then this is high force waterfalls so again absolutely amazing because of the amount of water like rain that we had it was well worth stopping it was only two pound each to get in um it was so nice to go and see it and there was a load of photographers there obviously like lined up to get in because you know they, the, it was bound to be good with the amount of water that we had so that's that and then we obviously went to winter wonderland in november with our friends and we took a load of photos so that's why this one's in here um even though it's like a destination it's more like an event but i just had so many photos so this is just our ticket to get into winter wonderland it's normally free but because they are having to stagger tickets and at like peak times they do charge them but it's only a fiver so it was well worth it we had um shake shack which was a really good uh food that we really wanted to go to whilst we was in london because we don't get it up north it's only in london and then this is us for that went to winter wonderland that was us getting onto the tube 
So then we arrived um, and we took some photos outside the German village, the Bavarian village, which was really cool. It wasn't too cold. It was a bit windy, but it wasn't too cold and it didn't rain. So that was the main thing. And I loved using a full mode, like sort of winter collections. So this is just some pictures. We had a drink. I didn't have one, but um, this was just funny of Joe with the the German guy here. <laughs> but they had beers and Karina had like a hot wine. So this was in like a big Bavarian tent. And obviously they had these big like sausage barbecue things that literally were just amazing. Um, one day we'll actually go to Oktoberfest, but I imagine this is what it's like. <laughs> um, but we've got some funny photos with the, the photo boards. And then we had a wander around, like all the different sort of, they had like a craft section, like a shopping section with like load of ornaments and Christmas decorations and stuff like that. And then they had like food and drink section and stuff. So we just had loads of like time just to wander around and just look at all the cool things. This was like a carousel bar where you can have a drink and it goes round like a carousel, which is fun. Um, and then this is just a, some pictures of like the amusements and stuff. They had so many rides and you know, cool things like that. And then this is just some more pictures of like the amusements and stuff. So they had like fairground rides and stuff, but like Christmassy ones, but then also like high, what's the word, energy ones, like ones that I wouldn't fancy going on, like this uh, one that launched up in the air and like super fast roller coasters and stuff, but they did have like giant wheels and little carousels and stuff. So there was like a variety of different things for different people. And this is just some pictures of like the little um, games and stuff that they do. They are so expensive and they are a con. Like we were looking at them and it was it's so hard to win like a full blown, blown prize. Like you end up spending like £20 in order to win one of the prizes, but you might as well just buy the toy direct. <laughs> it's just so expensive to play these games like amusement games. Um, but this was just Joe and Craig outside the train station because they both work on the railway. Well, we all do, but they actually work on the trains. So we just thought that was cute. Um, and then this is all of us inside the little Winter Wonderland sign. So Joe and I went on the giant wheel. We had it pre-booked um, and it was just, it looked so cool. It was so, so big. Um, and it goes around three times and we picked a really good time to go because the sun was setting. So we, we got quite a good um, view of like, it daytime and nighttime when the sun was setting so that was cool and obviously it looked nice at night when it was all lit up and then this is pictures of like from the giant wheels so these are the views that you get from the like when you're going round um and yeah then this picture of me and joe with it in the background it was 10 pound each so it's not cheap but it was the only thing that we pre-booked you can pre-book loads of stuff you can do like ice skating and um what's the other things you can do there's loads of stuff you can do the ice hotel and the ice bars and stuff like that so there's loads of stuff you can do um, but we just wanted to do the giant wheel and then we left um so it's just pictures of it at night so we're pretty much there all day we had quite a long journey because the trains were a bit strange so it was taking us like an extra hour each way to get there so we spent like six hours traveling basically um but we had churros just before we left as well but they were not really nice so yeah so that was the winter wonderland trip and then one of the last trips that we took in 2021 was to Lincoln. We went to Kenwick Woods um, and we were supposed to go to Gambia, <laughs> but because of Omicron, um, it didn't allow us. We just thought it was too much stress. So we moved that holiday and we just decided to go for like a spa week at a place in Lincoln. And this is this Kenwick Woods. So it was about an hour and a half drive, two hour drive from us. Um, but it was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, so this is like the park map that we got given when we arrived. I haven't done any journaling for these ones. I need to go back and journal. So, but this was our little cabin. I booked from with a hot tub and it was number 147. And I just love this little like wood cabin thing that came from the Deco Time um, paper pack. So we stayed for four nights and we just relaxed really. So this was inside our um, cabin it was called the Summersby Spa um, so it's just me and Joe in the bed and then this was like our area so like our bed was there living room kitchen and then behind there was a bathroom so it was all open plan basically like the bath was outside the bathroom so it was all very like open plan so that was cool so this is like the bath here and, like the rainfall shower obviously the toilet there and the sink so it was really really nice very romantic for like a couple and stuff 
So these are just some um, pictures of like the grounds. So we went for a nice walk. So it's a picture of us there. And obviously it was cold. It was December. So um, we're all wrapped up. Um, we went for a walk around the golf course that they had there. This was with a sign that they had. Um, also the map basically of the area called the woods. And then this was inside the spa. So this was like the big swimming pool that we went to. We did, we went to the spa twice whilst we were there. So that was fun. We had massages and stuff. And then we used like the... Um, saunas and steam rooms and stuff separately in the swimming pool. So then this is where we use the hot tub. So this is a hot tub here. I tried to get pictures, but as you can tell, they're really hard to take um, with the blue lighting and stuff. So I've managed to get a few, but you might not see it much on camera. Um, but it's just pictures of us in the hot tub, just enjoying that. Like we, I just wanted a hot tub. That was my only sort of request was that I really wanted a hot tub. Um, so it wasn't expensive, really. It was a last minute thing. So we managed to get a good deal. Um, but we loved using the hot tub when it was cold outside. So we're staying in like a the nearest town was called Louth. And so we went for a little wander around there. Um, and we ended up going for dinner quite a few times there. So this was just a little town here of Louth. And then this is a meal that we had, which was so good. It was called the Ranch Steakhouse and Grill. And it was just the best chicken burger I've ever had. It's just a shame that it's not near us because <laughs> I'd definitely go back. Then we went into Lincoln, which is the main town, um, main sort of city, um, and it's so pretty, Lincoln. I've never been, but I've had so many good recommendations about it. Um, so we caught the train, and it's just got really cute buildings, like Tudor-esque sort of buildings. We went for hot chocolate in the, in the coffee shop and stuff, so that was nice. And we did some shopping because it was close to Christmas, so we did some shopping um, to get some presents and things. We went for a walk up to the up the steep hill, like that's literally what it's called, it's called the steep hill, up to the Lincoln Cathedral. Um, so this is like the cute little cobbled streets that go all the way up and it's so, so steep. <laughs> like this doesn't do it justice, it is really steep. So some more pictures. This house is like bent, so that's really cool. Um, so yeah, we took some nice pictures of there and obviously had like all the Christmas decorations and stuff. We had lunch at Wagamama's, um, so this is my drink that I had it was like a rose lemonade thing and it was really nice um so yeah as you said these these bits here are going to be where I'm going to put my journaling and stuff so eventually I will get around to doing that and then this is Lincoln Cathedral um and again it's so so pretty we walked all the way around we didn't go inside it um but we just wandered around it and it was so pretty it reminded me of York uh, Minster so really really pretty and then we also went for a day trip to Mablethorpe, which is the coast. Um, it wasn't the weather for it, definitely not, because it was cold <laughs> and there was no one on the beach and stuff. But it was just cool to see. I've never been there and I don't think we'll probably go back just because it's not close to us, really. Um, so it's just nice to go there whilst we were there. Yeah, but they had the cute little coloured beach huts along the along the beach. And then they had like a nice little park with all these ducks. And this is a beach here. And obviously, they liked moving it around and sort of shifting it ready for the not summer but like you know clearing it up a little bit so it's you know better for the tourist season which is cool and then we went for a meal at the royal oak inn also known as the splash um pub and it's really cute like it's right in the little middle of the cent like the village center and it's all like really nicely decorated obviously for christmas and stuff it was really cozy and we had some really really good food there as well So that was that and then I did a small little section of my little overnight trip to Hazelwood Castle with my friends. We went for a spa week, not week, spa night basically um, at this really cool, um, it's a castle basically and it just has like a spa and obviously it's like a hotel. Um, so this was like outside, obviously got like a the flag and this was cool because this is actually a door so that's a door handle like it's an, it opens the bookcase which I thought was really cool this was our room so we had two separate rooms because there's four of us um, but it was really cool like it was quite expensive I'd say it's about 100, 120 pound I think for a night but it included three course meal breakfast and uh, massage and like spa facilities so that was it was really cool and I said we all had holidays booked but they all got cancelled because of Omicron so we treated ourselves um, so this is just some more pictures of the grounds, just at like sunset sort of time. So it's all like a proper castle and things. And we went for a little nice walk around. And this had all the, like, the lights and pretty colours in the sky. So it was really nice. I want to take Joe there. I think Joe would really, really like it there. 
And then this was just our sort of last sort of bits and pieces. So this is when we had our three course meals. So this was our tea, which was really nice. So I chose duck um, and then this was the spa. So I only took like one or two photos. We didn't get too many photos of ourselves. We should have really. Um, but yeah, this was just enjoying the spa as well. So again, I will be doing some journaling on there. And then the last sort of bits was when we went to Harlow Car, which is a garden centre slash park. Um, but they've got up a big map here of the area. But in the, in the winter, they do the glow, which is basically they put all these colourful lights and all that around the park. So it was really cool. I really wanted to go to something like that. So we went to this one. Um, so they had some really cool like displays like these are all made out of like plants and vegetables and stuff like that. And ooh, they had really nice um, colourful lights. Like I love all these purple and the blues and the deers and stuff. So this is like the little walkway. So as you can see, it's really, really magical to walk through because it was so dark outside. And all the lights they had were just from these ones that they had like, line up the trees and stuff. They had a cute like little Alice in Wonderland sort of theme. And I loved using up my little baubles um, from Dovecraft, I think they were. Um, and then we got some hot chocolate. They had like a little Betty's rest Cafe in the, rest in the garden centre in the middle of it. So we stopped and had a hot chocolate there. And that's just from my hot chocolate there. Um, but yeah, it was just so cool just to wander around and take photos. It was just really peaceful. Um, so yeah, so that is my England scrapbook. So that's pretty much like mid-2021 to 2022, basically. Uh, no, mid-2020 to mid... Oh God. Mid-2020 to 2021. Like, that is pretty much that. So, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a longer video, but um, just wanted to flip you through some bits and pieces. And I'm sure I'll be back soon with some more. But, yeah, thank you very much. Bye.